On the Saturday afternoon and on the Sunday morning, the master gave satsang to the British Sangat at the Bloomsbury Centre Hotel. On the Saturday, he chose as the reference for his discourse the Gospel according to St. John. If you want to take a birth and then you want to spiritually grow to the level of the Father, you have to go to some mistake, you have to go to some saint and get initiated from him. And taking a new birth through a mistake means, Christ says, except a man be born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Taking a new birth means withdrawing your consciousness to the eye center and attaching it to the spirit within, tasting that nectar which the Lord has kept within every one of us. He says, if you are able to withdraw your consciousness to the eye center and attach yourself to that spirit within, our Holy Ghost within, and taste that nectar which the Lord has kept within every one of us, then you have taken a new birth through a saint or through a mistake then you can spiritually grow and grow to the extent to become one with the Father. On Sunday, he discussed St. Matthew. That it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Lord has not given this human opportunity only to eat and drink and spend and waste our life. The purpose of getting this human, wife, um, human life is something very, very great. The only privilege, you see, this privilege is given only to the human form that in being in this body will be able to go back to the Father. So Christ says, this privilege you, you can enjoy and you can make best use of this opportunity. If you hear the word which is proceeding from the mouth of God, mean that voice of God is within every one of us here at the eye center. If we are able to withdraw our consciousness to the eye center, and hear that word which is coming from the mouth of the Lord, then the object of getting this human birth is achieved. Then we do not have to come to this flesh again. Then we don't have to take another birth in order to face another death. And that is the main purpose of getting this human form. So Christ says that you can only achieve when you hear that word which is coming from the mouth of God. Then he explains them, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He said, Lord is nowhere outside. He is within every one of us. We have to worship him within our body. We don't have to go anywhere outside in order to worship the Father, in order to seek the Father. He is residing right within ourselves. And we have to worship the Father within ourselves. And how can we realize the Father within ourselves? Because we have to repent. Unless we are able to repent for the sins which we have committed in the past life, though the Lord is within every one of us, we will never be able to realize the Father within ourselves. And the real repentance we can only do when the soul gets a release from the mind, when the soul shines, and soul can only leave the mind when mind comes to its own source. And since mind is fond of players, as St. John explained to us yesterday, so unless the mind gets a better player than the sensor player, mind refuses to leave the sensor player. Mind always collects sins and karmas by being slave of the senses. So unless we are able to, you see, withhold our mind from the senses, we, can, we do not refrain from committing the sins. So Christ says, when the Master baptizes us, He tells us the method and technique, how to, uh, how to hold our mind away from the senses, that is, with the help of Simran and with the help of Dhyan. We are able to withdraw our consciousness to the eye center and to able to still our mind here at the eye center. And then we can attach our consciousness to the spirit or Shabad and Naam within our self. Then we can repent with this method, with this technique, you see, by taking this new birth, we can repent for all the actions or sins which have committed in the past life. Then only the soul shines when all the coverings are removed from the soul, then it becomes worthy to become one with the Father. 
so christ says don't go outside in search of the father he is right within you within every one of you but you will only see him when you are able to repent what you have been doing in the past life